In Super Metroid, you've almost certainly noticed the strange eye cameras or eye spotlights that shine on Samus near the beginning of the game. The first one you encounter is right next to the Morphing Ball, which is invariably the first item you pick up. After Samus collects the Morphing Ball, the eye immediately opens and shines a harmless yellow light on Samus that follows her until she moves far enough away. The eye supposedly alerts the space pirates to the fact that Samus has arrived on the planet. In this room, you'll notice the second eye camera, which behaves identically to the first, except that you don't need to pick up the available item before it shines on you. Once you've collected either five or ten missiles, when you head up the elevator, the pit room will be full of space pirates that you must kill to progress leftward. Once you open the left door, the planet is awakened and full of enemies. After you make it up the climb room and enter the room known as Parlor, if you enter the lower left blue door, you'll notice that you can't progress through the room without having bombs. So you have to continue onwards and fight Bomb Teresa. Once you have bombs, you can return to that room and progress through, ultimately finding a Chozo statue holding another missile pack. Nothing unusual here. I'll just refer to this room as the Chozo Room. It's possible to enter the Chozo Room prior to awakening the planet. The easiest way to do this is to use the space-time beam, which is a combination of all five beams except for wave. Firing the beam properly effectively resets the game without taking away any of your items. Now, let's use space-time to enter the Chozo Room prior to awakening the planet. An easy and relatively safe way to activate the effects of space-time is to go to the climb room in Criteria. Fall down along the right side of the room until you land on this small platform. Bomb your way through the wall and enter the room on the right. Turn around and open the door, then pause the game and enter the Samus menu. Unequip Wave Beam and be sure that Charge, Ice, and Spazer are all equipped. Then. Highlight any one of your boot upgrades and press left and A simultaneously. If done correctly, Plasma Beam should become equipped as well, with the letters V-A-R next to it. Unpause the game, face left, and tap the shoot button to fire the space-time beam. Then hold left to walk through the door. If the game didn't crash, which it might, Everything should now be reset to how it was when you first arrived from Ceres Station. Just make sure to unequip Space Time Beam before proceeding. Now head up to the Chozo Room in Parlor. When you enter the room, you'll immediately notice that the Chozo statue is not holding a missile pack. Then when you get closer, you'll see the hidden third eye. This Chozo eye seems to behave identically to the other two eyes, following you around the room with a harmless yellow light. And if you get far enough away, the light shuts off. Also, just like the other eyes, once the planet has been awakened, this eye will disappear. But what's really going on here? Unfortunately, the X-ray scope doesn't reveal anything, just a normal Chozo statue. Luckily, I have another way to look behind the scenes. In my previous video about beamless space-time, I demonstrated a technique that utilizes the X-ray scope, while Samus is out of bounds, to essentially modify the game's memory in a way that mimics the effects of firing the space-time beam. But in addition, the technique does result in significant graphical issues, However, for this video, these graphical issues will come in handy. Once I've successfully modified the game's memory and navigated back inbounds, you'll see all the graphical glitches. The background palette is all messed up, 
and certain items become effectively transparent. For example, doors, save stations, and most importantly, Chozo statues. Now that we've made Chozo statues transparent, let's head back to the hidden third eye. When you enter the room, you'll see that there is actually an eye camera hidden behind the Chozo statue that looks similar to the other two. Oddly, this eye does have a couple of different properties from the other two eyes. For one, the eyeball itself is blue rather than red. Also, when the light turns off, the eye turns around and then closes. I'm not sure why it has these properties. Cheers to you, Dear Force. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found this video interesting, and if so, please like it and leave a comment below.